What's going on guys, Zotus here, and today's commentary I want to talk about is how close quarters can fail and how it can succeed, because I can see it going in, in both directions, you know, it's going to be hard to tell because it's not out yet, but it's something that could definitely be like a, like a swing set of maps for me where, you know, I could like half of them and I could like hate half of them, or I could just just love them all and hate them all so so I'll, I'll go into it saying you know the pros and cons at least for uh, for close quarters and I'm gonna start in the, on the big big negative at least for me right now and that's uh the shotguns the shotguns are are pretty strong right now and of course they should be at, at close quarters and like uh, tight spaces and stuff but one thing that I could definitely start seeing is a whole bunch of people maybe like half the room you know 12 out of like the 24 people in the close quarters are going to start using shotguns, you know, slugs, and man, it could definitely get pretty ugly and pretty annoying, but we'll end up seeing how it, um, you know, how it ends up turning out, but that's, a, you know, another th good thing too about the, the Rena servers is, you know, you can put in you know, shotguns, and if someone starts using a shotgun, you can just go and just kick them out of your room and just go, I'm not even going to deal with you, you know, screw you, so that, that could be like a good sense in that, that I'll have a server if you know, I have a server on the PlayStation I'll have one very soon actually on the Xbox and so I'll be on both systems here and there and the next thing that I want to say is at least for a good thing is is I like all the, all the close quarters maps right now or at least the tight space maps Metro um, Bazaar um, fuck, I can't think I know there's at least another one but um, even in Team Deathmatch like that like Battlefield's pretty good although the one knock I would say in Battlefield was I was I would have loved to have a um, a, a free-for-all type map, maybe you know, like a team deathmatch, but everyone's on their own. But I could see where that where that could have been a problem, just due to the uh, the spawns and stuff. But it would have been a nice, you know, nice thing. At least if they would have tried to uh, to bring that game mode, possibly, and they they could even in close quarters, because you know, they said there's there's uh, two or three new game modes. And the next thing I would talk about would be that there's no rush, so because you know it's, it's an outdated series or yeah, outdated game mode, and something I've said before multiple times that it's just a it's an half the time you know unless it's on a good map rush is just really boring even if it's on a good map if you're on a bad team or if you're going against a bad team those games will just last forever and they are just so boring sometimes but if both the sides are pretty evenly matched rush rush is a good game mode and so we'll see the game mode too they know it's it's going to be like a like a conquest, like assault type thing. It's not gonna be conquest assault. It's gonna be another type of conquest, and I think it was two other game modes. But we'll see when they actually um, go out and release the uh, the trailer, or even when when it comes out, because it'll be out on a on the PlayStation a week early. So that'll be um, that'll be nice just to play that a little for a week early, and then go to the Xbox when this comes out, and then I'll at least know the maps right away, and I'll have the videos up too right away once the uh, once the DLC comes out, I'll have them up the first day because I've got. I've got I'm, the rumor is that they're coming out June fifth, and so I have that day off and the next day off of work just because I've got a ton of sick time and vacation time that I never use, and so I might as well use it and uh, you know have some have some fun, make some videos, and play with some people the day that uh, that it comes out. And another really really good thing actually too is I don't know if everyone's probably seen. I know some people haven't. But the developers actually just came out with uh, with a little trailer. I don't even know what we call it, like a trailer. But basically, what they did in the close quarters maps is they just started shooting random things and seeing like the total effects for it to try to like finalize it. So they're shooting the walls and like like countertops and everything and, and just other like random stuff and windows. And so um, I'll tr I'll try to find the video and post a link at least um, if I uh, remember slash can find it. But that was that was pretty cool and interesting to see that to see all the. Uh, objectives and everything fly around and dart all over the place and um, you know one thing too is if these maps are well designed I think that's gonna be the key for the close quarters is if they're well designed maps uh, you know what one thing I kind of don't like in a lot of video games nowadays that that everyone does in the multiplayer maps is all the maps are symmetrical like what I would like for some maps to be symmetrical yes because it does you know then it goes to you know kind of whatever team is better but also, what I would like to maybe see is one side get an advantage. So, say, like, one map, the Americans get the advantage, and then, you know, the next map, the Russians get the advantage, something like that. Or, I know, I know you switch sides every side, so maybe have, like, have like that, that side get the advantage, and then the Americans get the advantage again, and then the Russians, Russians, just to make it fair. Just because, um... One of the, one of the original games that I played with on, online for the consoles was SOCOM 2, 
And what was so amazing about that game was, is there was only maybe like two or three symmetrical maps where it was just like, the better team will most of the time win this map, but pretty much for 9 out of 10 of the maps, <coughs> it was basically just, you know, one side was lopsided, like that team technically should win, but sometimes that other side would win, and when you, when you would get those type of wins too, you just feel so good, just be like, yeah, we just absolutely destroyed the rest, like we should have lost, but yet we won. And that's, that's kind of unfortunate too, because... I know all the video, the video game makers are putting the, the easy buttons all the video games now. You have saves and and the hard modes are not even really hard modes. They're just like, you just step out and just like die half the time. Which I, I could probably do a rage video on single player for, for Battlefield with just how many times I'm going through it on like the hard difficulty. It's just like, you step out and die and you can't even do anything. And you'll That'll happen for like five minutes until eventually the com the computer decides not to shoot you like one time and you're able to run to like a car for like the next like checkpoint and stuff and it's just it's it's stupid and frustrating but I I don't know it's just it would it would be nice to see something like that and one mode that I would actually love to see in Battlefield that was in uh, the SOCOM series and I'm sure they have it like another series too but it was called um, Breach Mode and so basically what would happen is is you would have the defending team in like uh, like in a bomb area where you would go and plant the bomb and then there was like doors and stuff around there was like different sets of like layers of doors and stuff that you had to like go and put C4 on to blow up and pretty much what ended up happening was it was a very fun game mode and it was very challenging for for the uh, for the people attacking if the attacking people won you'd be like yeah you know that was great I can't believe we won and that would be that would be pretty interesting to have like a game mode like that but we'll see what what type of game modes they uh, they end up putting in, and so I don't know. I can't think of anything else of whether close quarters be good or not. So I'll just hopefully the maps are maybe one or two symmetrical, and the other one's not symmetrical. But we'll end up seeing what comes out in uh, two weeks or whenever whenever it's supposed to come out. We'll see. But um, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully you enjoyed the video.